Hey there guys, it's the Oblivious Gamer here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Book Bronze. Last time, we made it, um, past, made it through the gym and actually beat the gym, which shocked me. Uh, we had a weird glitch during that, which resolved itself after the battle. And we saw a giant ship flying that way, um, after that, and then we went and battled someone who happened to have the, as of right now, 7th gym badge. So the final gym badge, as of right now. Um, when I'm recording this video. And... Somehow I managed to win. <laughs> because they had really good Pokemon. Much better than ours. This time, we're gonna go check and see what that giant ship was. Because it might be important for us. Who knows. There's really isn't much to talk about when you're running to get to some place to figure out what the heck is going on. And I sounded very weird whenever I said that, I just realized. Um, I'm a bit laggy for some reason. Okay, let's go talk to these two, because they weren't out here last time we were here. I think this is actually a cut. Yeah, this is a cutscene, I believe. Chris, thank goodness you're back. Something awful has happened. It's all my fault, too. That boy is going to get himself into trouble. I told him not to go. Tim Clips is back in Antian City, and Jake has run off to face them alone. I tried to stop him, but he was determined to save your parents and protect us. I should have gone with them. No, you didn't. You did the right thing by staying here. That boy is a fool. Hey, he's my friend. Don't talk to him about him like that. He's going to get himself captured for meddling with those goons. It's true. Tim Clips has resurfaced in Antian City. Their presence here can only mean one thing. They must be going uh, back after that artifact in the museum. I saw a bunch of them pass the shop heading to the housing district. It would appear that they fl flew a, g a ship of their own and docked it in the park district. Your friend went over there as soon as he heard they were here. They were here. Wow. Good typo there. There isn't much you can do for him. Hopefully, Team Clips won't find him as very much of a threat and simply kick him out of their area of operations. What if he's captured, though? Jake is my friend, and if it were me in trouble, he would come looking for me. The only reason is because he's got a crush on you. <laughs> I'm sure he would, but I can't afford to send you looking for him and risk you getting in trouble as well. Especially after you tell me that you haven't had much battling experience. Maybe I don't, but I know someone who does. Chris, you just won the badge from the Antian City Gym, right? Chris happens to be an amazing Pokemon trainer, and if we went together, I doubt anyone would stand in our way. Please, Gerald, you have to let us try. We are every bit as determined as your father was. You are every bit as determined as your father was when he wanted his way test. I guess there's really no stopping you. If Chris will be there to assist you, I'm fine with it. I want you to take this. Obtain the basement key. Put the basement key in the bag. That's the key to the basement below my shop. It will take you through the Antian sewers. The sewers connect to the park district underground from the shopping district. Sorry about the cut there. Got interrupted. There are Team Eclipse members guarding the path above ground to the park district, so I'm, but I'm sure they don't know about the sewer path. If you take the tunnels below the city, I'm confident you will reach your destination safely. <sighs> Sorry about that. Thank you. Bleh. Thank you so much, Gerald. This will be incredibly helpful. Don't worry about Chris and I. I promise we will come back safely. I sure hope so. I'll be inside the shop if you need anything. I need to call a few friends in the city to make sure they're all right. Good luck, you two. Well, with that. Alright, let's go find the sewer entrance. Uh. <laughs> Um, uh, um, there we go. <laughs> That's funny. I feel like she's going to get into talking anyway. No, you, unless you're both there, you can't talk to her. If you get stuck there infinitely, you're screwed. All right, let's go. Oh, I guess we, I haven't given you a chance to run some last minute errands. You might need to prepare for this. If it's healing your Pokemon, don't worry about that. I have plenty of potions. I'll keep your Pokemon healed up as we go through. 
I'll wait for you by inside in case you need to do something else. Please hurry though, we need to find Jake quickly. There's actually a few things I want to get, try to get done. Because, um... I think I'm gonna need to stock up on some potions of my own for after we get through this. I'm also gonna take a look at some Pokeballs real quick today. Bye. Because I'm really hoping for a particular type of ball. Fist ball works on fighting types. Flame ball works on fire types. No duh. And Draco ball. This would have been good to get for um, catching Draco. Because it would have been perfect for it. And the flame ball would have been perfect for. Um, actually, no, it wouldn't. Okay. Oh well. There's no Pokemon I want to catch down there. So I'm not going to worry about that. There. But. Yeah, now you know what day I'm recording this on if you memorize what days um, certain Pokeballs appear, which I have no clue what days certain Pokemon, Pokeballs appear anyway. Unless it's just randomized each time. That would make mo that would make perfect sense, actually. Hmm. That's interesting, actually. Anyway, I'm going to go get some potions because we're, we might need them for afterward. Just a thought. Because you never know. I'm gonna buy a few hyper potions because I used quite a few of them during the gym battle. And I think I'll use the rest of my money on revives, which happened to be three. okay. Because I used a few revives during the, ba the gym battle as well. There's some people that will say that well that will feel bad for using revives because NPCs tend to not use revives or anything like that but I might tend to, I mean they don't ever for some reason but I don't really see much of a point in it if they've got more um, Pokemon than you I, I think it's fine which typically is the case for me um, but I, I like to battle my own way I guess I don't know, it's just, that's just me though um, so that's all the preparations I wanted to make. If you guys have any more preparations that you think I should have made, or if um, you have different preparations you need to make, and you want to tell me, please let me know in the comments. I would then I think that'd be really cool to see how different places are going for different people. Anyway, welcome to the Antian Sewers. You, it smells awful down here. Let's try and make it out the other side as quickly as we can. You go on ahead and I'll lead. Go ahead and lead, I'll follow you. Now, there's a few Pokemon you can actually catch down here, which is interesting. One of them happens to be... Magnemite! <laughs> that was actually what the Pokemon I had in mind whenever um, I was about to start talking about them. Magnemite is a electric steel type. And it's a really good Pokemon, too. Um, I actually considered it for my team, but I... Because of a different Pokemon I have in mind, I decided against it. Um, another Pokemon you can find is Clink. Well, well, we have visitors here on the sewers. Most people don't realize it, but we scientists do a lot of work down here. Making sure everything runs properly on the surface. I probably gave him the wrong voice. Oh well. A Magneton you cannot find down here. But you can evolve Magnemite into Magneton pretty quickly. And then instantly, if you go to Route 3, I have bad team, bad Pokemon off of this. Um, if you go to Route 3, as soon as you get Magnemite to Magneton, you can actually evolve Magneton into Magnezone, which is really cool. And it's an insane special attacker with some really good tanky um, aspects because of steel typing. So if you want it for your team, go ahead and pick it up. It's really good. I'm not going to pick it up myself. I feel like overheat might be a bit much, but oh well. Right, that would explain it. Um, Electro Ball. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the device of ground type. What did Magnemite do to Sachi? I don't know. Anyway, um. Magneton. Uh, I'll use overheat again. All those not gonna do that much damage. 
Another Pokemon you can- I know there's another Pokemon you can find on here. I think it's called Grimer. I think you can find Grimer here. It's a decent Pokemon, I guess. I don't know. I also don't have the Pokedex open next to me, so I can't really verify that I'm right on this or wrong on this. But I believe its evolution can be decent. I'm opening up the Pokedex while I'm fighting, so this is going well. Going very well. Um... <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna look up Muck. Um, let's see. I put I instead of U. Wow. Muck. Magneton painted. Mm. Also, Muck's alone in form and Grimer's alone in form is a dark typing. Anyway, stats. Where are the stats? Electrode. Hello, Draco. <laughs> So Litwick, I'm going to have you use Will-O-Wisp, a Magneton. Yeah, Muck can be a pretty good Pokemon. Alright. And then Draco. Uh, use the Wagon Claw, I guess. Discharge. Yeah. Sorry, Sati. Didn't do much to... Draco, which makes sense because it's dragon type, but anyway, this electric types. Um. Oh, come on. Frog, I guess. Night Slash on Magneton. And Draco Dragon Birth on Electrode, I guess. Electrode. Oh, I think Electrode and Voltorb can be found on you. Oh, uh, or at least one of them. I don't remember, though. I could be off on that one as well. I'm going off of memory on this, and I don't have any kind of... Hello, Battle Bond! <laughs> um, I don't have any kind of memory of other of half Pokemon on here. Because I tend to just rush through it and try to go through the story as fast as I can whenever I play a game. I don't actually try to find certain Pokemon half time. Although nowadays I'm actually building teams and all that, so... I guess that's the thing. Okay, I'm just gonna night slash his like electrode. And Draco just headbutt it, I guess. Um I'm actually gonna give it Fog his nickname at some point. Wow! <laughs> Lucky on the fact that that's the last turn. Um Draco would love twenty three twenty two I mean, not twenty three. I really should get be I really should be working right now. Yeah, probably. Us battling. Let me heal your Pokemon now. Um There's there's two ways you can go, but one way does not have anything for I was right on Volto being down here. One way has nothing for us right now. So don't worry about going that way. I there's no reason for it. Um but I mean, don't go straight ahead because there's no reason for it right now. Now here, the re Wow. Well, here's Clink. I think that's all the Pokemon you can find down here. So I'm going to put a Repel. Because I don't want to keep running into Pokemon every 5 seconds. So where are my Repels? At the bottom, as usual. Likely of encountering, encountering wild Pokemon has decreased. Um, there's someone down here that I don't think was actually here previously. We'll see though. Let no, there isn't. It looked like it from so far away. In editing, I'm gonna realize that I it didn't, and I'm gonna feel like an idiot. Wow, there's nothing over in that hallway. It's just a way to get around these trainers. I'm actually gonna battle these trainers because I want to get as much experience as possible. These sewers are like my own personal little hideout. I come down here to get away from everyone on the surface. I gave a very weird voice throughout that entire thing. <laughs> Electrode. Voltorb. So. I guess I'll night slash um, Voltorb because I believe she's going to go after the elect Electrode, not Lightrode. Electrode is. Elytra is a uh, thing in Minecraft. 
Speaking of which, I haven't really been uploading that much Minecraft recently, I've noticed, and the reason being is just I haven't recorded much. Um, so yeah, I've just been recording other types of games for a while. Speaking of that, um, I've actually noticed that my commentary seems better suited for, um, less plays, and it's also suited for whenever I'm with other people for multiplayer type games. So I want you guys' opinions. Do you want me to just not do solo commentary for multiplayer type games like Sky Wars and all that? Do you want me to have other people with me and I'll just do solo less plays? Or do you want me to just continue doing what I want to do? What, well, not what I want to do, but what I've been doing. Um, Inferno, I believe it's got 50% chance to hit. Yes. But it's 100 power and burn, and burns the opponent. So I'm going to give it a Will-O-Wisp for that. Because Will-O-Wisp, I don't really use that much. I don't tend to use it at all, really. But Inferno is good to use. Wow. Okay. Inferno is going to be good if, um, and then after that, Hex. Because the Hexes can be, Hexes can be really good. That depends on the person. <laughs> Hex can be a really good um, move. Electrode, Gothita. Okay, so I'm gonna go after Gothita with Night Slash because I know Night Slash will one shot it. Case in point. Now I just have to hope Goodbye does something good. And Goodbye's supposed to be right here, but there's a visual glitch. My failure is the reason I hide from others. You're not a failure, it's just... You actually had the type advantage there. Half time against my Pokemon at least. Let me heal our Pokemon now. There's nothing that way or that way. This is just... That, that's just pointless pathways because there's no one right there. Um... Wait. I don't remember this. At all. Where the heck does this lead? Oh. Okay. And how to give out tests. The one thing I don't like about um, fighting members is, because, is that you can't go through them like in the main series of Pokemon games, but this isn't a main series game, so it makes sense. Yo, yo, yo! You're here to join my fight club? If you beat me in a battle, I'll tell you the number one rule of my fight club. So, Punk Guy Hunter is his name. Scraggy and Scrafty. This is going to be a tough battle based on that. I'm going to air release this Crafty and hope that it gets one shot. Nope. Okay. That's not going to do much. That's a, <laughs> That's a critical hit. Wow. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Double teamed my Pokemon. Well, we just double teamed yours, so makes sense. No pun intended considering Fargano's double team. Um, defense fell. Oh, right. Um, wait. I thought I used Night Slash for some reason. Night Slash isn't going to do that much. Um, because it's Scraggy and Scrafty, a dark type fighting type. Dark fighting type Pokemon. Although they don't really seem like it, which is interesting. Hmm. Let's see Pokemon game experience. Batty grew to level 50. I'm considering leaving Batty in the PC for a bit because it's kind of getting over leveled. Machoke. Oh, hello, hello Draco. I'm going to use Aerial Ace on Machoke. And I guess I'll use Dragon Claw on Scraggy. I think this might be a glitch, is that now I control two Pokemon even though Tess has more Pokemon that she can use. Submission completely destroyed Draco. Okay, she sent out her shell gun. Nice. Um, I'm gonna work on Scraggy now. You go ahead and take out the Machoke. If you don't take out the Machoke, I'm gonna... Okay. Oh god! <laughs> uh, lie, because Bite or Crunch doesn't do that much. Speed fell. Alright, Fargo avoid that, so... 
Time to night fly some Michelle, just to beat it with a dark type move, because that's what Shell Gun's been trying to do. No! I didn't realize the Shell Gun was the fastest on the field. Her Shell Gun, at least. Wow. So that's a good level 39. Wow. The shell gun, her Shell Gun's more, more of a tank than my Shell Gun is. Then again, her is also higher level than mine is, so, makes sense. I'm gonna aerialize some much hamp. Much hamp, not much hop. Um, Light Frogger is a dark type as well as a water type. Forgetting that. <laughs> um, so I guess now Batty gets to shine. We'll start to do shine also, but either way, oh well. <laughs> Slashing. Yep, one shot. No, not surprising because there is level 50. <laughs> Alright, well. Let's see if you can get experience. Whether you beat me, I'll tell you the little now. Now, I'm actually going to talk to this guy because what he says is kind of funny. Excellent battling. Let me heal your Pokemon now. I'll oh, Pokemon. Well, the number one rule of my fight club is to tell everyone about my fight club. Seriously, nobody knows about it, and I'm down here all alone with nobody to fight. Wow. Um, if we head over this way, you'll find this guy. Talk to him. I really need a new job. Fishing muck out of the water is not a pleasant way to spend my time. This is where you can find muck, if you have a better rod, I think. I have no clue as there's no better rod at, th at this point in the game. Black Sludge. Black, Black Sludge will either heal a poison type. Or do damage to any other type. So, yeah. Give it to a poison type if you have one. Um, this guy here. I came down here looking for something new to explore. What I found was a horrible sentence instead. I can't go any on, on any farther. Let's just have a battle instead. Now, it's actually possible this guy is the guy that you talked to on the cliffs um, right before the mountain. But, I don't know. Uh, back on life, I don't know. Magcargo and Magneton. That's one shook in the Magcargo, so that way it's out of the way. Even though it's gonna be useless to defeat. Two shot. Well, one shot because one turn. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Easiest Aspen Ninja Bond ever. Fuck you need experience points. Nine, 49 extra sensory. Extra sensory is a really good psychic type move, may cause flinching. I'm actually gonna um give a double team for that, because I almost I've never used a double team. And I don't think I'm gonna ever use it, so yeah. Extra sensory. Uh if you haven't seen that parody, then uh, please go watch it, it's really good. Um, it's Dark Pulse. If you search Dark Pulse, it should pop up. Um, yeah, let's watch the chicken the light on, why not? This is kind of easy. <laughs> one shot. I guess it's one shot because Frog is now Ash Peninja. Or Ash Frogga. <laughs> Rock slide. <laughs> Sorry, yawning there. Almost one shot Fargo, wow. Go do all right, time to actually go after the Magneton. What? Probably not very effective because of seal typing. Makes sense, I guess. Flash! Cannon completely vexed Fogger. Alright. I'm going to send out. Um, you know what? I'll send out Draco. He needs need ex the exper experience. It's way under leveled, and I think it's going to need to. It's going to need the experience. It's way under leveled because of the way it's, the way it's caught. Magneton painted. 
Yep, that's why I wanted to want to grind the, um, for a while with Draco because of its typing. What I might go do is go get the um, Greninja I have, my setup Pokemon, and just use that for a while. Uh, Dragon Claw on Galaga. By the way, the duo is a um, flying normal type, and it's I can I think it can be a good Pokemon if um, given the right move set and all that. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna switch to Batty this turn. So as of right now, I'm realizing that my entire team is basically frail except for my current tank. I've actually got a better tank in mind, but yeah. And for those of you who've used um, a big on before, you'll you'll know um, why I say better tank. Uh, I think I'll use Air Slash on Gligar. There's some people that say Gligar, there's some people that say Gligar. It really depends. Go ahead and swear on the ground. Flinch. Air Slash on Gligar again, because I want to get that out of the way. The duo's accuracy sharply rose. Mm. Oh, by the way, something I'd like to mention. In between episodes, I bought the TM for False Wipe. And I'm actually gonna uh, have a Pokemon dedicated for that, I think. I don't know, though. Um, I'm just gonna Air Slash the no duo and get out of the way. Hopefully it won't be easy enough to be. Why did you grab the bite? It's got the low, least amount of HP. Wow. Bad again experience points and it's almost level 51. Wow. Almost um over leveled for what we need to do next. This is a sign that I should probably just turn around. Alright. Amazing battle, let me heal up Pokemon now. Alright. Now in here there's actually a guy you can battle. I believe. Yeah, him. I'm going to... Yes, I want to use another repel. I'm actually going to battle him real quick, because... Well, the PC might be useful later. I have a first thing in my office. I'm pretty far away from the awful smells in here. Plus, I have air conditioning. So, I'm going to cut this battle out, unless there's a new Pokemon that I don't realize. I just had to say that, that unless there's a new Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not happy about this. Uh, Clang is the evolved form of Clink, and I believe once it evolves into Clink Clang, it can be a really good Pokemon. Yeah, I'm gonna attack Porygon 2. Porygon 2 is the evolved form of Porygon, I believe it can be a really good Pokemon. Only problem is you have to trade to um, get Porygon 2 and Porygon Z, which is Porygon's final evolution. And if you don't remember how to get Porygon in this game, go back to episode 3 or 4. I think it's episode 3. I don't remember though. Amphos. This is the final Pokemon this guy has. Amphos is a electric type Pokemon. It can be really good, but you'll have to use TMs on it. And it's got Mega Evolution, which is an electric dragon type. Which is really amazing. So if you happen to once you use a bunch of TMs and all that on it, then go ahead and get it, but I believe you can catch it back on Route 3. Uh, Mavi can evolve eventually into Amphos. I actually attempted using an Amphos in a playthrough, well, uh, Mavi into Amphos, in a playthrough of uh, Heart Gold once. And you really have to use a lot of TMs on it, because it, is, it doesn't learn that great moves. Then the entire adventure. Unless you use TMs on it, so yeah. Dragon Claw again on Amphos again. Anyway, I'm not gonna worry about cutting out the rest of this battle because Amphos is going down now. Once he uses Power Gem to attempt to get Draco taken out. So there we go, Draco's been gotten level 35. What's the Zen headbutt? Zen Headbutt is a really much better move than um, Headbutt is. And it also may cause flinching. It, lo it loses accuracy, but it gains power. And so, in my opinion, it's better. 
There's no two ways, no two ways about it for me. And then that headbutt. And that's really it. Well, at least I still have an air conditioned room. Now, normally I would end off right about here because it's so long. But, excuse me. I think I'm actually gonna finish off um, this entire area first. This is actually going to be a bit of a longer episode because of what's going to happen. Anyway, we're at the end of the place. I think this is the end of the sewers. I can hear wind. The park district must be on the other side of the store. Let's go make sure Jake is okay. Walking around all the way back. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not that mean of a friend. I was not originally planning for this to be a two-part episode, but due to it being an hour long, I decided that in the long run, it would be best for it to be just 30 minutes long. Although it's a little bit longer now as this post commentary. But that means in a couple days you'll see part two. I'm sorry for uploading the same game two two days in a row. Not two days in a row, but two uploads in a row, but I, as I tend to not do that. But due to this being a multi part episode, I feel it's best for that. Also, I am sorry for not uploading Pokemon Book Fun in such a long time. But I kind of forgot to edit stuff, so I'm kinda of trying to catch up on that right now. So that's why this is being edited now, <laughs> like a few days before um, it's supposed to be uploaded. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, links to my Discord and Twitter are in the description. And I'll see you guys back here in a couple days for part 2.